Well scored by Jezic. That's who they've got to stop. Croatia off the doubt. Easier said than done as she levels things up straight away. Croatia don't play as quickly as Norway in possession. And the one thing that uh, Hungary have talked about playing Croatia as a team that have played them and lost and asked to explain what was it like. And they said they're just horrible to play against. They're in your face when they're defending, almost roughhousing you. It's not Kalus. Good stop by Lunds. Oh, Kalus not been allowed to get that by Frafjord. And now Christiansen to Oftedal. And she's in again. This time she scores at Norway are in front. Lovely save by Lund. And then Frafjord not allowing Kalish to get it. Goes to Christiansen. Christiansen to Oftedal who takes it on her own. If anything, this is a, a really good test for Croatia to find their true level against the team that are being favoured by many to go on and win this tournament. Oh, that's a good pinch from Christiansen. Oh. So Botset Dale goes in, but under close scrutiny from Horsted. Merck. After Dow. Long shot, straight in. So first blood goes to Norway. Heindal is down and uh, the clock has been stopped holding her ear. I think she may have got clipped around the face. Anxious looks on the Danish bench. Oh, it's a crash of the heads with her own player. Horstead actually caught her in the follow through. The referees are going to have a quick look. I suspect no further. Merck is so enjoying her handball now after such a long injury spell and seems to be really on top of the game. And they have hit back four goals without reply and they are level. And Denmark have got to dig deep now, having seen their lead disappear in six minutes. Right up in the corner. That was superbly placed. And I said earlier, the lead can disappear ever so quickly. Ustergaard goes in as a second line player. Hoylund. Heindal. Second goal for the line player. Change of direction, and Oftedal, who struggled to find ways through in the first half, does that beautifully. Three for her. Into the wing. Jørgensen. Playing out of position there. Well, I say out of position. It's the position the coach has given her, and after missing the last wing shot, slightly bigger angle this time, and puts it right through the legs of Katrina Lunde. Again, it's all square in the semi-final. This is a real tough game, I'm afraid, on them. Yes, for Jensen. So much hoped he'd got the tactics right. And in the first half, it looked that way, but Norway have adjusted so well. And defensively, it's not quite going their way now, as Oftedal, with four goals in the game now, opens up a big lead. It's one back though for Östergaard, third of the game for the winger. It's a Bittingheim in Germany. Cut out the uh, right back and went straight to the wing on the pass. Good thinking by Horstead, but there was Östergaard with that uh, wrong footing and beats Toft. Two and a half minutes, surely it's too far now. 
don't really have too many other options other than Merck. Four left-handers on that side. Scorgrinder to push could do it. So uh, Christiansen is deputising. Oh, lovely play! Little sidestep. Öftedal, second goal. France take the uh, throw off very quickly. And the gap grows. And the uh, Norwegian defence holding well. Frafjord and Dali. But just as I say it, Fopa finds a little bit of space and it's threaded through to her. Four goals for the 19 year old. Anna Solberg. Long attack needed here. Zadi in defense now. Two from the left. Ah, oh, through the legs of the keeper. Öftedal, third goal. 30 seconds now for France to hit back. They take off the keeper. Seven against six to finish the first half. Into the wing. Fleep. Gets it in this time. Got a few seconds now to try and hit back. Flip scoring her 10th goal of the Euro. Five seconds to get a shot away. Reistad, it's saved. France pick it up, and that is it. Half time. Well, it was.